good y'all it's akiri here back with another vid d o guys today i'm going to be making a matching set a matching set outfit of a sweatshirt and pants that's inspired by this kalina barfield two-piece set that is part of her collection with target so guys i never did anything like this i wanted to see how much vinyl it would take how much time it would take if this is something a design that i could make myself and i did all of those things i made the design cut out all the shapes and put it together i'm going to show the tutorial on how to do this it was so easy and i think that you guys could do this for yourself for your friends or even start a small business of selling matching sets so without further ado let's get into the video So guys, I just wanted to show you really quickly. I used uh, about two whole rolls of Smart Iron On. I used a Smart Iron On so I didn't have to mess with any mats while making this project because I knew I was gonna have to cut out a lot of items. Everything that I use in this video will be linked down below in case you want to recreate these matching sets for yourself. And also, if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. So to create the design, I went into Canva and I searched up abstract shapes. They gave me a few shapes, but it wasn't similar to the Kalina Barfield uh, design. So I went ahead and typed in abstract flowers and that gave me more designs that were on point with the design that she made on her clothing. So I did choose this green and this blue design. I put them on separate sheets and went ahead and uploaded them into Cricut and I'll show you how I printed them out um, in Design Space next. So I went ahead and uploaded the two objects into Design Space and then I took the flower object and as well as the other abstract object. I went ahead and just copy and paste them and made rows of them. I made about three feet of rows so that I would have at least three feet of flowers to put on my object. I then used a smart vinyl and cut those out and got to making. So I ended up with these super long sheets of cut out vinyl. Uh, honestly, there was a lot of waste. I wish I would have done them a little closer together or did something else to kind of save some of the vinyl. But anywho, I did this kind of the ratchet way and just pulled the vinyl backing off because I was not going to individually weed all of these shapes. Um, like I said, I did about three feet of each shape so you know how much weeding that could amount to. Here are my two sheets, all of this. I hope this is enough to make a print all over. Um, I may just have to focus on the front. Um, but here are my glitter shapes. And then here are like my abstract flower shapes. So I'm gonna put these, cut them all out and then get to placing them on the outfit. So I got my Glidden sweatshirt and my Glidden sweatpants. Um, so I'm going to be heating them at 330 for about 15 seconds. Um, but what I'm going to do here is lay this out and start planning out my design. Um, and then press as many pieces at one time as I can. I only got this small heat press. I'm not investing in another one. so. Yeah, so I'm going to make this one work. From here, I started to first place the bigger objects. And I cut those out with plain iron-on vinyl. And then, like, the small accent is in black glitter vinyl. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it looks it shows very differently in person. Also, for, like, around the arm spots and on the corners of the sweater, I did go ahead and cut those so that the image looked like it was running continuously on the arm and not just like ironed over it so you'll see in a moment what I mean by cutting the flowers so here's the pattern that I like and I'm gonna show you guys this jacket that I have that actually reminds me of this I bought from Target um, so this is the pattern that I'm gonna go with and now I'm just gonna press it at 330 for about 15 seconds on each spot to get them held down and then cold peel and I'm gonna try to move as fast as possible so this doesn't take forever I cut this piece in half so it will look like a continuous pattern and I'll do this in other places on the sweater. In 
and here's how the sweater top turned out i think it looks great you can kind of see that glitter versus the matte vinyl it looks amazing So I did the same thing with the pants with laying out the pattern, but I think I killed it with the pattern on the pants and also cutting pieces so that they come out through the sides. But I think I nailed it and it looks so good. So what I did was just continue the pattern down the pants. And as you can see, you can kind of see the difference between the glitter vinyl and the regular matte black vinyl. And guys, chef's kiss. I love this so much. Again, I did 330 for about 15 to 20 seconds on each piece, then let it cool. And these came out so amazing. Like I really enjoyed this project and think you guys should do this. Even if you don't want to go with as bold of a pattern as me, I definitely think that this is something that you guys should definitely try out. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you be making a matching set for your clients, for your small business, for yourself, for your friends and for your family, or just something for you to wear, you know, whenever. Uh, I think matching sets are popular um, in the winter time, but also in the summer. You can do short sets, you can do bra and um, short sets. There's tons of different sets that people like out there. They're super popular right now. Uh, and I think they're a great thing to make. This is super fun. It did take some time, but ultimately if you have like a press or different um, supplies than I do, I just have my Cricut stuff. But if you have a, like a larger press or things like that, it could be so much more uh, so much more quicker uh, and less time consuming but I really enjoyed this project let me know what you think down below and if you like more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next one